from a studio celebrating its 100th birthday with the energy of a real 100-year-old comes another chapter of the multiverse saga that's taken the MCU from must-watch to maybe throw it on in the background while you're doing something else. It's really good. Loki Season 2 Season 1 was a delight. Now, prepare for a follow-up that laughs at the basics of storytelling. It's too complicated. Wait, am I on the wrong page or...? Spits in the face of physics. It's your future. My present. It's complicated. But can't shake the law of diminishing returns. It's too complicated to explain it to you now. As your Marvel fatigue gets pushed to the brink by a circular argument over what's even going on this time. I don't understand what you've just said. It's high time someone tells me exactly what is going on. What a waste of time. Loki's back, and now he literally can't get his head out of his own ass. Get him! Watch this slick back Norseman complete his journey from bad boy to a reformed anti-hero to a cop whose only friends are his co-workers? <sighs> As this former trickster makes like a tree and weaves, growing from the most dynamic villain in MCU history to a sad green throne potato. Aw, cheer up, Loki. Did someone forget to take their vitamins? Hi, Onida. Shan Tsun. You look great. Meet Marvel's next big villain, he who won't go away. Even though the actor is literally on trial for domestic violence, they're still doubling down on a guy who just got bodied by Ant-Man. Ant-Man. This season, follow a Kang variant named Victor Timely, one with the power to end a sentence. Dramatic pause. Loud. Fine threads of power or end a sentence dramatic pause regular time is the future of energy he's teamed up with the tva's top middle manager renslayer and a big horny clock what i could have been your girl in this ridiculous fantasy where multiple women are attracted to a guy who's really into steampunk. Bye. Ooh, clock blocked. A technical hiccup at the TVA has put every timeline in jeopardy. The branching's overloading the temporal loop. Now, the only way to fix it is a bunch of nonsense that would get you laughed out of a Doctor Who writer's room. The containment door is a lot, and only the person who designed it can open it with a live scan of his temporal aura. That's right. The whole season is about getting a door open, with seven layers of mumbo jumbo added on. So if we can't get in there and increase the diameter of the loom's intake ring, Enough to boost throughput? You need to get to the temporal loom so the extractor can pull Loki directly out of the time stream. We're going to allow it to interface directly with Timely's adaptive exponential computing system. With all those upgrades, it will allow the loom to scale the capacity to manage the backlog of branches. It just keeps going on like this for six episodes. When something is pruned, it's released from time. So the hope is that after you prune yourself, the extractor will pull you into the present. Of course. Yeah. Loki won't lurk the office halls alone. His pal Mobius is back with one new personality trait, liking snacks. Cracker Jack concession stand is a high traffic area. Let's have a little pie while we wait. Courtesy of the hot cocoa machine. Great donuts today, Dale. Owen Wilson makes the best of a role that's just Owen Wilson doing Owen Wilson stuff. Brad, I saw the poster. It looked scary. Wow, I'm cheerful with a hint of sadness behind the eyes. Wow. Ouroboros is here to give Kihei Kwan a much-deserved paycheck, proving that it's never too late to be typecast as a lovable nerd who does machines. And of course, Sylvie returns to remind the viewer what's really at stake. McDonald's. You like it here? You like this place? I thought you were setting us up for an ambush. Hell, you were just setting us up for a great meal. What would you like? I want to try everything. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. She's looking it. To save the multiverse, watch Loki and his crew dramatically run around. Time is a 
Bomb the essence. Let's go faster this time. Occasionally pause to find each other. And if they're here, we'll find them. We need to find Sylvie. We find Rents there, we find Miss Minutes. You said you wanted to find Sylvie, right? Maybe Miss Minutes can locate him. Where is Sylvie? Mobius, where is he? Find Sylvie. Where is she? Where's Docs? Where's Sylvie? And how are we gonna find a little rogue cartoon clock that doesn't want to be found? Forget who they are. I don't know you. You don't know me. Have we met each other? I think you have me mixed up with someone else. That guy that was here, what was his name? This isn't the first time we've had this conversation, is it? Casey, it's me. Who are you? You don't remember me either. You were in just the other day, right? And repeat until creatively exhausted. I want to introduce you to... In a season of TV that gives up and restarts like a speedrunner trying to 100% Dark Souls. This all seems a bit rushed. Welcome to the MCU Post Endgame. So gather around for a show that can only be understood as a grand metaphor for the current state of Marvel itself. They've expanded into TV too much too fast. It's not constructed to weave together so many new branches. So it's overloading. It looks like a disaster. It is a disaster. Risking the sacred timeline where they stuck to making movies. Hey, what were you doing down there on the sacred timeline? Making movies as they all avoid the simple answer staring them right in the face. You can't scale with infinite. <laughs> Unplug the whole thing, wait a beat, then plug it back in again once we've forgotten how much this face sucked. I can rewrite the story. Please. Starring. Loki in the sky with timelines. Lightning McStream. Two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a branch timeline. Vic Mensa. Respect my time, Barry the Dodger! In another life, I would have really liked doing tech support with you. TikTok influencer. I am the very model of a modern Majors Disney role. Tech support support. Raphael is cool but rude. Liza Ahrens. And the MCU's visual effects artist. The whoop order is really piled up if I take a brick, so I just keep at it. Forever. No sleep. Hot Tom Time Machine. Note to self, before commissioning a propaganda mosaic of the TVA's origins, don't commission a bronze relief of the horrible, horrible truth. Hey, screen junkies, let's keep slipping through time in an all new episode of By the Numbers, where we used more science mumbo jumbo than Loki to objectively pick the all time greatest year for movies. Click the box on the right to watch now. I am epic voice guy of Memphis, and I am burdened with glorious purpose. You shall not pass! I serve a higher authority. Peep, 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 pe